After the ADP enrollment number on Thursday, everybody was jumpy for jobs data today on Friday, July 7th, 2023. And oh, what a day it was. Bonds were slightly weaker headed into the jobs data, but still inside of yesterday's range. That was a really wide range. After a calm result, the red turned to green with 10-year yields quickly dropping. MBS were up 13 basis points early. Stocks were flat. We had non-farm payrolls that came in at 209,000 on a 225 forecast. It was 339 previously, so quite a bit of a drop. Unemployment came in at 3.6 on a 3.6 forecast, but that's kind of a fugazi of a number anymore. I hate that number. 3.7 previously. Hourly earnings. This is important. It came up increased by 0.4 and was up 4.4 percent year over year wage inflation is the fed's biggest concern right now and it seems to have plateaued around this level for the past several months after declining in the second half of 2022 pre-pandemic average hourly earnings were increasing at around three and a half percent so we still have some ways to go in order to get back to the level the fed is comfortable with this hourly earnings and wage inflation is a big driver in my opinion because i think that is what's fueling everybody's being able to put more and more things on credit cards and get credit cards extended to make the minimum monthly payment. Quits rate increased to 2.6% despite these gains. Keep in mind that a 200,000 plus print is still a pretty strong number. Unemployment is still low. Uh, last month, NFP was revised higher, it was, so it went up to 339 from 306, which once processed ate up much of the gains. Things could have been worse or better following the release of the mighty non-farm payrolls. The headline print on the job report, the NFP came in, like I said, at 209 on 225 forecast, which may as well have been as expected after yesterday's results. So that was a victory in a sense. If we comparing it to yesterday's ADP number, which came in at 497,000, you start figuring out how to reconcile these two reports with each other. Bonds rallied initially for exactly that reason, but then pulled back because 200,000 is still pretty solid. All in MBS were down 12 basis points on the day. Stocks lost 12 and a half points. So we ended the day at 98.34, which is puts on this brand new, very, very low range, where if we kind of stay in that all of next week, we're probably going to have to look at bumping our coupon up that we watch. And deciding that next week, we have next week's economic data. So coming the week, not much on Monday, Tuesday, we get the IBD economic optimism and a three-year note auction. Nothing really too big to speak of there with some business optimism. On Wednesday, that's when we get core CPI. So CPI day that's a big one we get a 17 week bill auction a 10 year note auction so wednesday is the big day to watch out for next week the normal jobs report on thursday because everybody's watching those jobs we also get producer prices and a 30 year bond auction and then on friday we get some export data as well as consumer sentiment so most of the action is going to happen on wednesday and thursday of the next week so let's chill out and let's check out some stuff from our core common influences especially our sponsor at well that makes sense com because you can't rely on the market to get you where you want to be in life. So let's look at some good knowledge.